you too what it do it's your boy shock antoine and today's video is going to be about how i'm preparing to target fluke for the 2018 season yes that's right fluke uh, fluke is just one of maybe six or eight uh, species of fish that i target throughout the year all right so today i'm just gonna basically uh, go over what my plan and my strategy is for catching fluke in 2018. Uh, but first, I do want to give you a little bit of background. Now, I don't typically like to fish a fluke too much. Uh, I think it might have something to do with the fight or the lack thereof, or just, you know, maybe the tactics. You know, I'm not much into um, fishing for fluke, but uh, through out the fall of 2017 uh, my interest kind of got sparked and I'll get into that uh, in a little bit all right but today basically uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm planning to use is pretty much unconventional considering what most people use uh, to catch fluke uh, all right so what I'm going to be using for 2018 to catch fluke is this the yozuri magdar is the five inch version um i'm going to tell you why i'm deciding to target fluke with this plug uh, in 2017 um throughout the fall and at some points early on um, through fishing with this plug uh almost at least one trip or once per trip uh, that i was taking i was actually catching fluke by accident it maybe was a fluke but then i started to notice that there was consistency to it so i, was, I paid a little more attention uh, and decided that okay fine since i'm consistently catching fluke not necessarily targeting them but i am catching them on this plug i uh, decided for 2018 that i will target them or begin to target them uh, with this plug um, you know, as you can see, the plug is pretty beat up. Yes, it does have uh, some hook rash or what people consider to be hook rash, which is basically wherever the plug, the, uh, the hook contacts the plug. That's why you normally see that ring on a lot of plugs. That's where the, the, the belly hook will contact it. And where the rear hook will contact, you see that line? That would be considered hook rash. But any, any and everything else is from fish. Um, I, like I said, there was many nights when I was uh, fishing this plug in the fall and I caught uh, bluefish, striped bass, and fluke. Uh, and yes, keeper fluke as well. Out of season, uh, keeper fluke, but fluke nonetheless. Of which I'll show you uh, some photos from uh, 2017 uh, in a small slideshow. I'll end the video with a slideshow of the uh, fluke that I actually was uh, that I actually caught with this plug here right here oftentimes in the same spot sometimes I was moving around a bit but nonetheless <laughs> so much fluke I had such good success well by my um, standards that I decided you know what now I'm gonna look into this for 2018 so that's gonna be it that's what I'm gonna use I decided that you know I'm gonna use this so uh, in a little bit, I'll show you um, what I'm going to just kind of fine tune the, uh, the bait a little bit more. I'm not really making any modifications uh, because, in fact, 2017 was my test year with this plug. Uh, I decided uh, I picked it up in 2000, I think 16 or maybe the off season uh, before the last season started. And um, I was very curious about, it. I, you know, I'm, I'm used to SB minnows. I modify those extensively. I'll make one of those videos another time. Uh, but this plug here was new to me and I was a little bit leery about it because, you know, it's another minnow plug. It's small, it's only five inches. So I figured that I would most likely be catching small fish because it's such a small plug. And you know, that theory is very true. Small bait, small fish, larger bait, larger fish right so i was looking into possibly doing some modifications to it but being that it was my first time um, fishing this plug i decided that i would fish it for a season and decide 
uh, what needs to be done because typically I would um, uh, fish a plug and whatever faults I find or if there's something about it that I don't like then I will make a modification to it to suit my needs All right but this is one plug I must say that I will leave it as it is it doesn't need to be uh, loaded I was going to load it because um, there is a diagram which I'll include uh, where it gives you a, a, a view of the chambers on the inside it has a large chamber this hump here is a chamber um, it's pr practically empty it does have a through wire construction with a magnetic transfer system so in the cast the magnets lock to the back and it goes it doesn't cast you know too far no not farther than a regular SP minnow to me I think it's a little bit less but they're pretty much on par um, so I was looking at that upper chamber and it's like hmm I could probably load that with something but I decided to fish it first and I'm glad I did because this plug doesn't need to be touched not even the split rings on the hooks uh, eventually I fished this hook until it broke <laughs> broke in a fish um, this is the original hook they hold very well they're very small hooks but they hold very well in fact that uh, that striper day I asked the uh, the Yozuri rep that was there about these hooks, I was asked them, okay, what, you know, where do you, where do you get these hooks <laughs> and the rings? And he explained that the guy that um, designed them, he, he's a fisherman, he's a surf fisherman, and he knows the importance of having good hardware on the plug. So Yozuri gave us the goods uh, with this plug. So it doesn't need any modifications. This one I'm going to change the hooks on because they said that their hooks, they manufacture them. So you won't be able to purchase them. So for this one, uh, I am going to have to change the hooks because it's rusted now. Um, decided I'm going to put uh, the hooks that come on this smaller uh, Super Strike popper. I have a few of those, so therefore I have an extra set of hooks. I'm going to put those on here and see how it swims. Because even with this hook here, and this this is one of them as a matter of fact, and the original hook, I haven't caught a fish on it since I put this belly hook on. So. You know that that tells me that there's a balance to this plug and this is what I mean as to why I didn't want to modify it because I don't want to upset the balance that they delivered with this plug all right so that's going to be that I'm going to leave it the way it is so uh, in a moment I'll show you uh, what I've got planned uh, for 2018 with the other plugs that I actually was able to pick up all right so let's get to that right now all right, so this is the uh, the three that I did pick up for 2018 in addition to the uh, the one that I was using in 2017. All right, so this is the, uh, the, the three in the bottom, the two in the bottom of the, the five inch, All right? And the top one is the larger one, which I believe is about seven inches. So that bad boy right there, I will use that. Um, to see if I can target larger, catch larger fish. Um, and the bottom two, uh, this one is actually a nice one. It's really, it's a bunker pattern. It's kind of like gold. Uh, it looks just like a bunker. And I really feel that the Mag Daughter, to me, best represents a bunker with its mouth open. That's why I like it. You know, when these fish are um, keyed in on peanuts. Anytime I see peanuts, I will definitely be throwing a Mac daughter because I think it, um, the many thing, many plugs that I carry, it best represents a peanut with his mouth open feeding. I mean, this one here even looks like, look, look at the detail they put in this thing, man. It has like little, uh, like it has its gills hanging out of its plate. Uh, that that thing should be deadly. And this is the one that I'm primarily going to use uh, to target the fluke with. All right, now this one here I got because uh, at the time that I discovered the Mac Dada last year, a gentleman that I ran into in the surf had one, and his pretty much looked like how this one looks now. And I was like, oh, all right, so obviously it works. And he told me. Uh, that he used it to catch a lot of bluefish and bass. That color pattern was working pretty good last season. Um, it's kind of like, I, I don't know what they call it. They don't have colored names on the package, unless I'm not looking at the numbers right. But this uh, reminds me of like blueberry. Not really blurple, purple and black. This is like a blue and black. So I'm going to be calling that one um, blueberry. 
that one I will use for blues. Uh, and I'm um, just like a nice springtime plug. But yeah, so, you know, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of my friends were telling me that the reason why that I was catching so well uh, with this plug here on Fluke was because it was the abundance of peanuts. Now, I'm not sure if you remember, uh, but last season, the adult bunker, they spent a lot of time, if not the, the whole season. In fact, I think I've only uh, seen adult bunker a handful of times. Uh, however, almost every trip, everywhere I went, no matter where it was, there was just an abundance, a plethora of peanuts. Peanuts were all over the place. I'd be waiting in the water and be surrounded by peanuts. You know, they're trying to take a break in the current behind me. You know, when the current's hitting me in the in the side and I'm waiting, they're chilling out in the little eddy that, that, that uh, would be like the current break behind me. So, you know, there was just peanuts everywhere. And, you know, a lot of my friends were saying, well, that was the reason why I was catching so many fluke with this particular plug. But I'd like to think that, you know, fluke remembers or they at least know what peanuts look like. And I think if they see this thing swimming by them in the current struggling low and slow, they're going to pounce on it rather if there's peanuts around or not because it looks like a very nice meal. So I'm going that's why I'm going to target. So this is what I'm planning for 2018 this one for fluke this one for stripers in the spring and that one um, I have ho high hopes to catch a uh, larger fish with this plug because I, lo I love and hate the mag daughter you know I say that because it, it's a plug that definitely catches fish however it typically catches smaller fish. So I, I'm hoping that the larger one will solve that problem. And, you know, again, the hardware on this, on this plug is magnificent. You don't have to do nothing to it. I love it when you don't have to do nothing to a plug, no modifications, uh, even though I enjoy modifying plugs. But it's always nice when you don't have to, um, you know, change the hardware or make any sort of changes with, uh, with a plug. And Yozuri has uh, done a great job, so hats off to them. And I'm very thankful to have this plug in my arsenal. have it you too that's my plan for 2018 for catching fluke rosary mac daughter uh thank you for watching this video uh please remember to like and subscribe and leave any comments you would like down below all right have a blessed day